I also wanted to talk about some channel changes. Um, some changes that I have coming up for the channel. By the time I, I would have posted this video, I think you may notice that I have changed our channel name from Faith and Love Academy to The Falco Family. And I'm really, really excited about that. And so, I don't know, let's just chit chat about why for a second. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so you guys, I actually did a vlog for this channel on Friday. It was my baby girl's birthday, but I popped in for a few seconds just to answer a few questions. I went to go and download that footage at the end of the day so that I could try to quickly edit it and upload it. And yeah, I don't know what happened to those clips. Um, I was pretty sure that I pressed record and I was recording. Um, so I don't know why it didn't show up, but that is why there was no video on Friday because I actually did film it, but I don't know where the footage ended up going. So sorry. Um, it was just a quick pop in anyway because it was my baby girl's fourth birthday. So um, I was just popping in to answer, answer, to answer a few random questions. So I figured I might as well just go ahead and answer the questions again. Um, that's the life of filming and editing videos amongst other mommy things when you just have so much stuff going on and I don't know, I was pretty sure that I pressed record and I was actually recording but there was no, there was a gap between the, um, the clip that I had filmed right before it and then one right after so maybe I didn't actually end up hitting record so sorry about that um I really just answered a few random questions that I had gotten today I'm currently trying to get my whole studio back in order after um Savannah's birthday party it went really well but it was just a lot and it was hot and it was fun it was fun What was I asked? What was I asked? Oh, someone asked me about these two books that were on the easel. I wasn't sure which one exactly you were referring to, but I had two in that video that were on this easel at the time. So this was just a Hello Atlas book. And it's just a book that uncovers the many different languages of the world. Um, they really have been enjoying this book. It comes with a companion app that we downloaded um, onto their iPad so they're able to go to a certain section and actually hear the language being spoken by a native speaker and so they've really been having a lot of fun with that. So it's really, really such a cute book. Really nicely done illustrations and lots of different languages. So we are loving this book so far. This one I actually got from the library, but um, I think we like it so much that I'm just gonna go ahead and purchase it. And the other book that was on there was our maps book. Um, I'm not even going to attempt to say the names on here. <laughs> it's just a maps book by Big Picture Press. This is actually, we own this book. And um, we've had it for a couple years. But this year we've been using it a lot more than we have in the past. So that's really cool. But again, it's a really well done book. We love the illustrations. We love that it's chock full of information. And I actually think that this does come with an activity book. We don't um, have it just yet, but it's definitely in my cart on Amazon to purchase. So I would really like to see them complete the activities that go along with the book. Someone asked about our reward system. I'm going to show you that, but probably in tomorrow's video because it requires a little bit more explanation. Plus, I want to show you um, how we actually use it and get some clips of the kids. Um, using the rewards chart or participating in the activity or you'll see what I mean when I show you tomorrow <laughs> oh I had a lot of people ask about this this is just a um a reference chart that I did for a new marker set that I got for um my son I've had quite a bit of you request how we do art in our homeschool which is super exciting to me because I can't wait to share with you what we do so that's a video that's coming soon how we do art in our homeschool one thing that I wanted to do this year was upgrade my oldest son's marker 
um, stash because we just started off by using regular Crayola markers and we like run through them till they're all the way dry so um, he's been getting better and better at his um, drawing at his artwork that I wanted to get him some new um, a better quality marker so I did a little bit of research and let me just tell you like markers the <laughs> alcohol markers they can get quite pricey so anyway I just did a little bit of research on YouTube and on Amazon and found a set of markers that I thought would be perfect for him as a step up from the Crayola markers and they are this brand that I know I'm probably gonna get wrong but it's oh hoo hoo oh hoo hoo anyway they were a more reasonable price I think I paid pay I think I paid like $25 for this pack and I can't remember how many is in here I'll put all the information in the description box as long as I remember but I thought they would be a perfect little step up from the Crayola markers so I'm gonna show you what I learned to do because like I told you I follow lots of artists on um, YouTube that's like my favorite thing to do uh, so what I learned to do was a test swatch on a sample sheet of paper hi honey I don't like <laughs> so anyway I learned to do a test swatch onto a sample sheet of paper that way he can tell what the marker is actually going to look like as it dries so he's the cutest thing ever he actually uses this all the time so that he can see which colors he wants to use on whatever he is drawing or illustrating for the day so I went ahead and did that for him and they have corresponding numbers because the tops of these markers if I can do this he, he's so cute he actually calls them his quality markers <laughs> mommy where are my quality markers <laughs> so um, the tops of these are kind of sort of helpful but they don't actually show you the true color so that is why we swatch them over here. So I'm trying to give you an example. Let's see. This is a vivid pink color. Wait, where is it going? Yeah, so that color says vivid pink. But if you look over here on the corresponding number, this is actually what it looks like when it dries. Much different from that. <laughs> it's much different from that so it's nice to have this so that he can see what it's actually gonna look like when it dries and I can't remember exactly how many are in here and I'm not gonna count them right now I think the only um, downfall to this marker pack was that he, he didn't like that there's not as many selections for skin tone here I think there's like two good options that he has uh, for skin tone other than that we'll probably have to get another set of um, skin tone you know colors that represent um, more skin tones uh, he's really into that so anyway and you also can't pick the colors that you get so I think that if you were to order this set you may not get the same colors that I got but you know it's a step up from Crayola so it's perfect for us we really like them they have dual side a fine tip side and then they have a thicker a thicker tip side um, it doesn't have a brush end which I heard is really really good for blending but he's not quite there yet so I think these do just fine for him and then once he does get there then we'll look into investing in some um, a little bit of a step up of a marker for him which I'm totally willing to do because he's amazing so yeah that is what these are it's not actually any type of decoration it's just swatches of our marker set so this is his copy then I also swatched in the back of my homeschool journal yeah so I swatched my watercolors um, my basic watercolors here my cheaper ones and my more quality better watercolors here and then my markers are here 
so yeah and I'm gonna show this to you guys soon once I get a little bit further I, j I just haven't had too much time to actually um, do my homeschool journaling like I want to which is cool cuz I'll find some time soon to sit down and kind of catch up but um, basically what I've done so far if you want to see that is I I started off by trying to use like a bullet journal format and then I realized that's not really what I wanted to do with it so I think this is just strictly going to be like a homeschool journal um, kind of just documenting uh, what I had planned for us to learn and what they actually learned in a more creative way. So in the back I have, this is my journal outline, like a monthly log towards the beginning, and then um, goals, a habit tracker, um, budget and income, content idea, social media tracker, Falco, Falco kids ideas, and then homeschool weekly journal. This is how I was originally going to set it up. And then I started to do that and thought to myself, you know what, I think I'm complicating things. So, um, but I did have this outline in the back just in case I wanted to use this format um, for whatever month. But for the most part, I'm just gonna be using it for this last one, which is the Homeschool Weekly Journal. And then I have a table of contents um, that's in the front of my book. So I've got my swatches here <laughs> towards the back. And then I just started the front where I ripped these out so I'm gonna have to make that pretty because you know that's gonna bother me but I uh, just started in the front we are obviously still on our we're on our working on our solar system unit so I just have where we live in the world <laughs> this is my little uh, solar system and we are um, studying the days of creation again as well and I just started to map out some of the things that we are covering. And then I just want to include any like little Polaroids. I have a little blue Polaroid that I can take um, pictures that I'd be able to add in here. And then I can make any notes of things, um, you know, just any revelations as a homeschool mom. Exciting things that happen, difficult things that happen, things that we learned and stuff like that. So um, I'm hoping that this works out for me. I'm excited about it. Um, I may have to do a little bit of catching up, but it's worth a try. So that is what that is. That's a long version of what <laughs> this here is. Someone asked me, let's put that up there. So someone asked about the tables. These tables are just from Ikea. I actually have um, these two here. At the, everything that I use for my homeschool classroom and my homeschool studio is basically from Ikea. I like how they're nice and basic, they're inexpensive, and um, they're really easy for me to move everything around, which I do quite often in order to fit what I'm looking for at that time. So out here I have the two tables here, and then I have the same ones here inside. Yeah, so I have the same ones here inside the classroom that's a mess right now, but this is, this is what it is. So I have these two here. Like I said, I get lots of my stuff from Ikea because it's just really inexpensive and it's a nice little addition to our homeschool space. I also got these the other day, you guys. They were like four bucks, so I got six of them because I wanted to have like little art workshops or, I don't know, little lesson workshops and I thought this would be good if we had some extra kids over and we always have little extra spaces for them to sit. This is leftover party stuff that I'm trying to wrap up and put away. And Ikea is great for that. What else? I'm trying to think, what else? Today I finished up um, editing our photos from our beach day shoot for the Falco kids. Um, I have some behind the scenes, I guess it would be considered clips of our beach day photo shoot and that is on our family channel that I will link our vlog channel if you would like to see that. But that's really exciting so um, I have to complete uh, my Etsy shop to link to our Falco website um, and I hope to have that done by the end of the week. So that's really exciting. So I have that done. I have those um, images edited and ready to use for um, marketing materials and things like that. And it's turning out really cute. And the kids are a humongous help. Once I finish a little bit of, I have to log some of the school, the stuff we did last 
week for school i have to log that in my evernote account after i finish doing that then i will work on some flat lays and things like that for the falco kids and cameron is going to help me the goal is to just have the kids come along with me on the whole process and um yeah just have a lot of fun doing it with them and walking them through the different parts of owning a business and then just teaching them how to do as much as possible and letting them just kind of um, take over and and do what they can so right now they're going to be doing um, uh, packaging um, I'm trying to teach them about how to handle the orders how to approve the orders and things like that so uh, it's gonna be really cool I think that the first thing we are going to do is um, like a pop-up shop inside of the garage space in the studio space so this little studio space is perfect for just transforming it and doing different things that we want to do here so I think the first thing we're gonna do is a pop-up shop for the Falco kids I'm not sure when but it's gonna be like a summer pop-up shop nothing super fancy just something quick and easy and fun um, for the kids to be involved in so that's what we're doing there what else did I want to tell you guys so yeah that was basically it I'm going to get some work done um, I also wanted to talk about some channel changes um, some changes that I have coming up for the channel by the time I I would have posted this video I think you may notice that I have changed our channel name from faith and love Academy to the Falco family and I'm really really excited about that and so I don't know let's just chit chat about why for a second I think the main reason behind it is um, it, it, you guys already know that we own a t-shirt line or, or it's we're building a brand and it's the name of our brand is called the Falco and it stands for the face and love life um, and it's just what we stand for is about exploring and discovering the gifts that the things that God has for us and the gifts that he has given to us um, by faith and with love. And that is what we stand for. Um, I started it last year and it's been a year full of learning, really. <laughs> it's been a journey, learning how to own a business, um, uh, learning what we are about, what we aren't about, um, learning not to compare, learning that our path is our own, just all of that type of stuff. And now we are a little more than a year from the, uh, the day that we launched the Falco and we are getting ready to launch the Falco Kids, hopefully by Friday. And I'm really excited about it because over the year, um, the Lord has just really helped me to understand um, more of the vision that he has put inside of me for the Falco and the Falco Kids and um, meeting Vanessa, um, uh, the artist and illustrator, Vanessa, you, who you guys know I love and adore. Um, just having that connection with her just really catapulted the Falco Kids into another dimension. So I'm really excited about that. I'm really excited about the journey and I'm really thoroughly enjoying myself. I really am. Uh, so one thing that I wanted to do for this channel is our the name of our homeschool is still Faith and Love Academy. That is not going to change. But here on our channel, I wanted to open the channel up to for me to be able to talk about a little bit more or to share a little bit more and everything is still going to be homeschool related for sure but uh, for us homeschool is life and life is homeschool there's really no um, separation between school time and learning time and so as I created videos here on this channel um, I would constantly think to myself um, there's things I wanted to share that I felt like maybe they're not too homeschooly enough you know what I mean and uh, I just wanted to open us up to more because we do homeschool it really is our life and it's not a, time, a specific time that we end learning about things and, the, and and our learning is not restricted to any certain subjects if that makes any sense so I wanted to open the channel up a little bit more for life lessons and how we're learning in everyday life and things like that so um, another thing I really wanted to talk about is more of what I'm learning I enjoy talking about um, my growth and 
this whole process and I want to I wanted to have a channel name that reflected that a little bit more um, because we are the faith and love like family that is what we are about that is what we are endeavoring to be or become um, just constantly growing and changing and I want to share more of that uh, so you guys know that I'm very very uh, creative and I love that and I want to um, share more of that I want to share more of the ins and outs and kind of like behind the scenes kind of sort of of um, business for us I wanted to talk about setting up an Etsy shop and running um, an online shop I want to talk more about designing uh, the uh, the process of me learning to um, illustrate just you know different stuff that I love I also wanted to share more about um, foods uh, what we eat our meal plan uh, our food allergy story I wanted to share more of that I just wanted to share a bit more I want to incorporate um, my husband Brian more into our videos I want to share more of his time with the kids during homeschool, which is basically all the time. Uh, I just wanted to open us up to a little bit more. And I thought it would be fitting. Um, we are going to be launching the Falco Kids. Our description for the Falco Kids is raising creative kids after the creator God. We're training for reigning by faith and with love. And, um, and then I tagged this channel, um, which is going to be the Falco family, so that when you find us there, you can come and meet us behind the scenes, what we're really about. Um, yeah, we're really just about serving and loving and learning together as a family. And I think that the Falco family was a more fitting name for us. Again, my our homeschool name is still Faith and Love Academy, but I thought that the Falco family would be a bit more fitting. And I talked to my Nessa too and told her my thoughts about that and she thought that was awesome. And she, I think she had the best little nugget of um, encouragement for me, which was sometimes as your vision grows and changes, um, you do something significant like changing your name so that your actions will follow suit and that was perfect she was perfect it was such like a gem of wisdom for me because I wanted to wait until all of my little ducks were in a row and then say hey here we are the Falco family this is our logo this is our whatever this is what we're about this is all we have to offer but really you guys know I'm obsessed with the journey right now and I want to bring you guys along because you're such you're so helpful for me whether you know that or not um, and there's so much to learn in the steps to the destination you know and there's so much fun to have in the steps to the destination so that's what I want to um, embrace more of and that is why we are now called the Falco family <laughs> I don't know what my tagline is gonna be or something but basically something along the lines of living loving serving wait loving serving and learning together where homeschool is life at the Falco family Yay. <laughs> do you guys like it <laughs> so I'm excited about that and I think my chit chat is getting pretty long and I probably need to go ahead and get started working on my um flat lays and I'm excited about being able to share more of that process too because this is all a learning process for me. Learning to sell items, learning to design is new for me. Um, I always love to create things and I just, I just want to continue to do that. I want to create things that make a difference in people's lives. I want to create things that, um, that I can give and I don't know, I just want to, I just want to use my gifts and make the world better little bits at a time you know yeah <laughs> so um, I'm gonna be sharing about you know doing flat lays mistakes that I'm making um, just things like that and I appreciate all of your love and support um, so many of you have reached out because uh, you follow our vlogging channel and you've heard little bits of um, how the Falco kids is evolving or the Falco has been evolving and you've supported and you've purchased and you've sent me little you know supportive messages and those things really really help because I'm not 
you know, I'm not a professional know-it-aller. I, I want to be a professional learner. <laughs> That's what I want to be. I want to always be in a constant state of learning and getting better and having fun doing it. And so uh, I love the challenge of having an online shop. It's very frustrating because um, there's so many things I feel like I don't know how to do. But um, I want to embrace the journey and this space, this channel gives me uh, more of a platform or more of space, more space to embrace the journey. And so I'm excited about that. Anyway, I think I've rambled on enough, you guys. Sorry there's no cute clips of the kids today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope I answered some of your smaller questions. The bigger ones that will require whole videos like our rewards chart um, and things like that are coming soon. I just thought that I could get some of these quicker questions um, out of the way. Sometimes I answer things through comments and I think that that's good, but being able to talk someone through or show you, you know, different things is helpful. At least for me, it's helpful, so I'm hoping that that is what this is doing for you guys. Also, definitely have books that need to go back to the library today. <laughs> Pretty sure I have a fine of some sorts. <laughs> That, that's the like only downfall to library issues and they just started sending us emails to let us know when things were going to um, be due back to the library so I really have no excuse now so I need to get my life together anyway thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in our next video hopefully tomorrow we'll see how it goes but I totally forgot when I told you guys that I was going to be vlogging every day that it was a holiday weekend so sorry if this is a little slower I'll get back on board super soon so mm -hmm.